Imagine a world where your hometown becomes a ghost town, not by war or disaster, but by the unbearable heat. Welcome to Explain Me This, where we dive deep into the topics that matter. Today we're taking a journey into a future that's not as far off as you might think. A future where certain corners of our beautiful planet will become uninhabitable by the year 2050. Yes, you heard that right. Now you might be wondering, how could that possibly happen? Well, it's all down to climate change and something called the wet bulb temperature index. It's not as complicated as it sounds, really. This index measures the body's ability to cool down in hot and humid conditions. When it's too high, it's game over for us humans. Let's take a closer look. Picture the regions of South Asia and the Persian Gulf. Countries like Iran, Kuwait, Oman, Egypt, Saudi Arabia, Sudan, Ethiopia, Somalia, and Yemen. These places are already known for their sweltering temperatures. But by the year 2050, climate change could push these areas to the extreme, making them downright unlivable. But it's not just these regions. As we delve deeper into this topic, we'll uncover how other parts of the world, including some right here in North and South America, are also on the brink. Before we venture into the heat, remember to hit that like button, leave us a comment on your thoughts, and subscribe to our channel for more enlightening content. Do it now, or we might just melt away. Picture this, the bustling streets of Mumbai, Delhi, or Karachi abandoned. Why? Because it's just too hot to survive? South Asia, a region known for its vibrant cultures, rich history, and diverse landscapes, is on the front line of the battle against extreme heat. But why is this region particularly vulnerable? Well, the answer lies in the wet bulb temperature index. This index measures the body's ability to cool down in hot and humid conditions. You see, our bodies cool down by sweating, but when it's too hot and too humid, sweating just doesn't cut it. Our bodies overheat and that's when it becomes dangerous, even deadly. Now, imagine living in an area where the wet bulb temperature is so high that your body simply can't cool down. That's the reality for South Asia, and it's only getting worse. By 2050, this region might become unbearable. The heat won't just make people uncomfortable, it will make the region uninhabitable. This isn't some distant dystopian future. This is a matter of 30 years from now. Cities that are currently home to millions might become ghost towns. Crops that feed entire nations could fail, leading to widespread famine. The economic impact? Catastrophic. But it's not just about the numbers, it's about the people. It's about the families who could lose their homes, the farmers who could lose their livelihoods, the children who might never get to experience the joy of playing outside. This is the future we're looking at if we don't take action on climate change. It's a future of abandoned cities and lost opportunities. But it's not set in stone. We can change the course, but we need to act now. The heat is on in South Asia, but they're not the only ones feeling the burn. The Persian Gulf, a region known for its heat, but soon it might just be known for its ghost towns. Imagine a world where the heat of the day is not just uncomfortable, but lethal. This is the future that awaits the Persian Gulf, a region already famous for its scorching temperatures. But the heat is set to rise even further, thanks to climate change. By 2050, the region, which includes countries like Iran, Kuwait, and Oman, might become uninhabitable. Why is this happening, you ask? Now, add the wet bulb temperature index to the rising global temperatures, and you have a recipe for disaster. The Persian Gulf, already a hotbed, literally, is projected to exceed this critical wet bulb threshold by 2050. This means that the intense heat and humidity would make it impossible for humans to survive outdoors for extended periods. Picture this. Cities like Tehran, Kuwait City, and Muscat turned into ghost towns. Streets deserted, homes abandoned. The once bustling markets, silent. And the echoing call to prayer is the only sign of life. But it's not just the inhabitants who will suffer. The economy, heavily dependent on oil extraction and other outdoor activities, would take a massive hit. The ripple effects would be felt worldwide, disrupting global oil markets and triggering economic instability. Yet, all is not lost. There's still time to change the course of this heated tale. But it requires swift and decisive action from us all. After all, we're not just talking about the Persian Gulf, but the future of our planet. From the hot sands of the Persian Gulf, let's travel to the borders of the Red Sea. The Red Sea already a hot spot, but in the future, it could be too hot to handle. 
Picture this. A region already known for its scorching temperatures, now about to turn the heat up a notch or several. The countries that border the Red Sea, Egypt, Saudi Arabia, Sudan, Ethiopia, Somalia, and Yemen are under a serious threat from climate change. This isn't a threat that's knocking on our doors, it's one that's already walked right in. These countries are already dealing with temperatures that would make most of us break into a sweat just thinking about them. But here's the kicker. By 2050, these regions could face unbearable climatic conditions. Unbearable as in impossible for humans to survive. It's not a pretty picture, is it? You might be wondering why these regions, what makes them particularly vulnerable? Well, it's a combination of factors. Their geographical location, for one, places them directly under the sun's merciless gaze. Add to this the lack of sufficient water resources, and you've got a recipe for disaster. And let's not forget about the already existing social and economic challenges these countries face. Now let's talk consequences. We're looking at a future where these regions could become uninhabitable. Imagine entire cultures, histories, and peoples displaced. The effects of such a change would ripple across the globe affecting us all. Our world map could look very different by mid-century. The future looks hot and not in a good way, but what can we do about it? The heat is on and it's up to us to turn it down. There's no denying the facts. The world is warming up and if we don't act now by 2050, our planet could look drastically different. But let's not despair because we are not powerless. We can change the course of our future and it starts with understanding the scope of the problem and then taking action right here, right now. So what can we do? There are a myriad of solutions to mitigate the effects of climate change. It ranges from simple individual actions like reducing our carbon footprints, switching to renewable energy sources, or embracing a plant-based diet, to larger scale initiatives like reforestation, investing in clean energy technologies, and advocating for climate policies. But we can't do this alone. This is a global issue that requires global cooperation. We need international policies that prioritize the health of our planet over short-term economic gains. We need to hold corporations accountable for their environmental impacts. We need to invest in sustainable technologies and practices that can help us adapt to the changing climate. And while these big changes are crucial, don't underestimate the power of individual action. Every single one of us plays a role, whether it's by recycling, driving less, or even just talking about climate change and spreading awareness, every action counts. So let's rise to the challenge. Let's change our habits, let's influence our communities, and let's vote for leaders who understand the urgency of our situation because we have the power to shape our future and the time to act is now. The world is heating up, but together we can cool it down. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe because every voice counts when it comes to saving our planet.